Today is the final day of Black Maternal Health Week. Data shows black women are three times more likely than white women to die during childbirth. Now one New York hospital has a program to address this shocking disparity. Bradley Blackburn spoke to a woman who says it saved her life. Anika Walker's baby Nico is almost two years old. He's a ball of energy. <laughs> But bringing him into the world came with dangers for her health and his. In her third trimester, she was diagnosed with preeclampsia, high blood pressure, and needed an emergency C-section. Preeclampsia is very, very dangerous, and I am one of the lucky ones. She understood the risk and got the vital care because she participated in a program at Northwell Health called MOMS, short for Maternal Outcomes and Morbidity, the goal to educate and support women during and after pregnancy, especially women of color. I'm getting emotional because they really helped me. I was very scared. They basically held my hand through the whole process. Maternal mortality overall is very high in this country. For black women, it's even higher. Dr. Donette Lewis says a full system of care is life-saving. Their postpartum program with home visits and an AI chatbot to keep in contact with patients has cut hospital readmissions by nearly 60% for black patients. If we can make a change in that across the country, that we can uh, decrease uh, some of those disparities. So I think it's crucial that programs like this exist. You felt like you had an advocate here. Absolutely. Walker is still getting support through moms, and she has a message to others who are expecting. We deserve everything that anyone else is receiving healthcare wise. Having knowledge about pregnancy, about your body, is the most important tool. Knowledge that empowers moms to demand vital care so they can care for new lives. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. And that health system hopes to expand the program to all of its hospitals. They deliver more than 30,000 babies each year.